Glasgow, Scotland's largest and most populated city, is home to a significant number of homeless people. At the beginning of the 21st century, the city had more homeless than the entirety of the Republic of Ireland. So why exactly is homelessness such a problem in Scotland? It's not, as many people believe, exclusively due to drug and alcohol abuse and addiction, in fact, the vast majority of homeless applications made in Glasgow last year were because of relationship breakdowns. There are, however, a number of charities and NGOs throughout Glasgow looking to help the homeless. One of the most prevalent of these is The Big Issue, not only in Scotland but worldwide. A street newspaper first set up in 1991, it is sold exclusively by homeless people, giving them an opportunity to make an income in an honest, non-corrupt manner and eventually successfully reintegrate into society. Daniel has been homeless for a number of years and works for The Big Issue where he has been given the opportunity to turn his life around and manage his finances more effectively. One of the biggest problems I had was the budget and my money dealing when, when I was eh, with my partner. I mean, we'd bought a flat and I, I get my wages paid into our account. So the biggest thing for me is budgeting your money. But it's not always easy. Often, homeless people in Glasgow simply do not know where to go to get the help they need. Don't think... <laughs> It's easy to access it, it's not, although sorry, it is easily accessible, but it's not advertised very well, it's not, you kind of need to be in really down, bad situations before somebody says to you, do you know, you can go here, or away for a cup of coffee, but maybe you go by once a week on a Monday, and I'm not standing here, and for three weeks in a row you go by, and the, the people start to worry about me, like obviously the big issue guy, he must be dead, must have OD'd, must be dead automatically they think that, no, but I worry about people if I don't see them. But how can people like students looking to help get involved? Glasgow University Service to the Homeless is one opportunity through which students can get involved in helping homeless people in the city. The volunteers help in a number of practical hands-on ways. A food bank service is run in cooperation with the UK charity eMouse every Wednesday and Thursday. Here, students are able to meet and help homeless people in a manner that is beneficial and effective. But yeah. It's, it's actually a lot busier than I thought it would be, um, which is sad, I suppose, but also good because, you know, we're, Helping they all kind of come together and it's like a kind of community feel about it. There are always going to be certain risks when working with some of society's most vulnerable people. But safety is of paramount importance and the project goes to great lengths to ensure that all volunteers feel safe and secure. Uh, five to six people on that night and we have three more volunteers, so we, we go as a group, no, nobody goes alone. And also, uh, we take taxis uh, to go and come back, or we get lifts from emails. So we 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 always stick as a group, and uh, we also have personal alarms. So the yeah. the ones that make big noises, screeching noises, uh, we have these, but we never really need to use them because uh, it's it's usually safe. Clearly, charities and companies looking to help Glasgow's homeless are growing all the time. From the big issue through to university charities like Gush, efforts to aid in the rehabilitation and protection of Glasgow's homeless are wide-ranging. But the root of the problem is still present. Does the government do enough to tackle the reason behind why exactly homelessness is so prevalent, not only in Glasgow, but across the whole UK? We are living in a society where we should not only be looking to help the homeless, but stop their rising numbers in the first place. More needs to be done to provide people with the knowledge and understanding necessary to tackle the root of this problem. I've been here for five years. There's people who've been walking by me for five years and totally ignoring me. Even when I say, hi, have a nice day, they just look the other way or pretend they're on their phone. Or Even people like that. I mean, there's one lassie in particular. She's been ignoring me for five years. And then once the thing was on Facebook, she's been coming over, oh, I've left her own bacon in the shop for you. Or oh, there's a cup of coffee in the shop for you. Now, just because I bought somebody a, a breakfast, aye, so that's been good, aye. 